I'm going to be reacting to George Carlin on phone, Bluetooth, and answering machines. Let's start. Here's something you never hear a man say. Stop sucking my dick or I'll call the police. <laughs> oh, I love George, man. There are some more people who ought to be smashed across the face repeatedly with a piece of heavy mining equipment. <laughs> These grown men, grown men, who refer to their fathers as my daddy. You know? Yeah. Gee, you hear a lot of this. I know a lot of people where I live who are grown men who still call their dad daddy, so, yeah. Stupid shit in the South. These rebel assholes, you know. My daddy, my daddy, yeah, my south, daddy. So, well, yeah. you know, my daddy used to say, my daddy used to say, blah, 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 Oh, he did. Did he? Well, wasn't that fucking enlightening? My daddy used to say, fuck your daddy. Fuck your daddy. In his wrinkled, rustic, rural country asshole. Grow up, Billy Joe Carl Bob Danny Frank. You're not six anymore. More like nine. Oh. Here's another unfortunate pack of mutants who ought to be penciled in for a sudden visit from the angel of death. My goodness. These guys... These guys who can't tell you about a phone call they had without giving you this shit. Yep. The fucking pinky on the thumb. People still do like that. Like they attended mime college. <laughs> studied under Marcel Marceau. <laughs> so I call her up, you know? And I'm talking to her. And she fucking hangs up on me. So I hang up on her, and she calls me back. I fucking hang up again. I say, hey, Bruno, thanks for the visual aid. But we all understand the concept of the telephone. Yeah. You hold it in your hand, you talk into it. Excuse me, Bruno, incoming call. Oh, hey, it's for you. I wish I could have seen George Carlin live, but when he passed away, I was only like eight or nine. But man, I started listening to George Carlin when I was probably, well, too young to listen to him. I was I was like eleven or twelve. I love this. Another bunch of pus-headed telephone cretins. These self-important techno dicks who walk around with these hands-free telephone headsets and earpieces. If he could see Mr. what it's like now. self-important, doesn't want to be too far from the phone in case Henry Kissinger calls. He's got the Dalai Lama on line two. <laughs> I say, hey, spaceman. As long as your hands are free, reach over here and fondle my balls, would you please? <laughs> He's so bad, I love it. And answering machines, starting with these people who think it's cute to let their children record the oh outgoing message. Oh my gosh, message. I hate that. Yeah. Uh, yes. And you can't understand a word of it because the kid's a fucking imbecile. Five-year-old, six-year-old kid, you know. Happens all the time. Hi, my name is Stacy. I'm five years old. My mommy and daddy aren't home. But I was a bang, I was a bang, Here's my message, Stacy. I'm coming over to your house with a big knife. And I'm going to kill mommy and daddy. Then I'm going to peel off their skin and make a funny hat. After that, I'm going to take out my huge ding-dong and stick it right in your... Oh, my gosh. These are the same parents who at Christmas time send you pictures of their children. <laughs> pictures you didn't ask for and you don't want it. Yep. But it is fun throwing the pictures away, isn't it? I don't even look at the fucking Christmas card. Who is this? Luann is 12 this year. Fuck Luann. <laughs> give a shit how old she is. Does she have any tits yet? Oh my gosh. Send me a picture of Luann's tits. Then I know I'm going to have a happy new year too. Oh my gosh. Then, just to compound your holiday pleasure, 
They enclose a family newsletter. Mm. Just what you're hoping for. News about people you can barely fucking remember. Yep. We're so proud of Brad, he's been accepted into dental school. Yeah, in the Philippines. <laughs> After four tries. <laughs> Fuck Brad and everybody who looks like Brad. <laughs> Judging from his picture, I think he's jerking off too much. Keep him away from Luann. <laughs> Here's another bunch of genetic defectives who've been turned loose on answering machines. These guys who cannot resist the urge to put music on their outgoing message. Yeah. You know, some guy spends $8 at Radio Shack and suddenly he's a fucking record producer. <laughs> and because he's busy in the basement jacking off his dog, I... I have to listen to substandard music. And it's always rotten music, you know? It's either New Age, that pointless, meandering zombie noise played by pseudo-spiritual lunatics who think wind chimes are a musical instrument. <laughs> or else it's soft rock. Soft rock, that lame-ass, weak, non-threatening, suburban white boy junk played by bands like Men Without Testicles. <laughs> And folks, on these answering machines, do me a favor, would you please? When you record your outgoing message, don't bother telling me you can't come to the phone. Yeah. I understand that. <laughs> Apparently, that's why we have these machines. And don't tell me to leave my name and number. Somehow, I figured that out. <laughs> and if you work in an office, never mind that stuff, I'm away from my desk. If you had to take a shit, say so. <laughs> You say, hi, this is Mary Louise. I had the Mexican jalapeno bean chili dip. And I washed it down with a gallon of gin. I'll be in and out all day. Yep. There are some more people who ought to be strapped into chairs and beaten with hammers. People who wear visors. Let me ask you something. What the fuck is the point in wearing half a hat? Either get a hat or don't. Yeah. No one's interested in the top of your head. Go back to the store and tell them to give you the rest of the hat. They cheated you. Better still, get yourself one of them little Jewish hats and sew it to your visor. Then you got yourself a full-fledged fucking hat, my friend. Here are some more musical vermin whose mothers we wish had had medical plans that included abortion. <laughs> these singers, these singers who think they're so special, they only need one name. Oh, Bono, yeah. Sting, Jewel, Tiffany, Prince, what a crock of shit. Get a fucking last name, would you please? I got a nice two-word name for you, pretentious cocksucker. How do you like that? Bono, Sting. It's not bad enough the music sucks, but with no last name, you can't find out where they live to throw a fucking bomb through their window. Oh, my gosh, man. <laughs> Brutal. There are some more people who deserve an inoperable tumor at the base of their spines. <laughs> These guys who fly around the world in a fucking balloon. What is this, 1850? Get a fucking airline ticket, will you, please? When are the media going to realize no one's interested in some rich trouser stain who's so bored he's got to fly around the balloon all day? I hope the next guy gets hit by lightning. <laughs> he flies around in little fart circles. <laughs> and lands in a sewage treatment pond <laughs> and sinks with the rest of the turds. Mr. Lighter Than Air. Here is another pack of jack-offs who ought to be strangled in front of their children. People who pay for inexpensive items with a credit card. Now, folks, Take my word for this, Raisinets is not a major purchase. Get some fucking cash together. No one should be paying a bank 18% interest on Tic Tacs. Yep. You're holding up the fucking line, too. 
some dorky looking prick with a fanny pack waiting to be approved for a bag of cheese doodles. I need this like I need an infected scrotum. Get some fucking money. Next guy ahead of me online pays for Newsweek with a credit card is getting stabbed in the eyes. I love that. That was great. I really enjoyed that. I'm glad somebody requested that because I hadn't seen that one before. I've seen a lot of them, but I haven't seen that one. And that one was super funny. Oops. I hate when I, that happens. But I really enjoyed that, and I love George Carlin. I've watched him for years. And um, the part where it said um, people wearing visors, and when I went like this, it's because... For years, I used to wear visors all the time in the summertime, and I was like, oh, thanks, George. <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed that, and stay tuned for the next reaction video.